If any of you guys who are watching who suffer with mental health, I just want to let you know that it will get better. Um, please don't give up. Hello guys, Middleton Plays here and welcome to part 3 of my Sims 4 Parenthood and Cats and Dogs Let's Play. So we have literally just been woken up by Meryl, um, so let's lecture about waking up. <laughs> okay, ah. Um, anyway, we are going to ask her to go and lie back down. There we go. And we are going to head back off to sleep. <laughs> Okay, so Meryl has just literally woken us up again. <laughs> um, so of course we are going to have to head back downstairs uh, just to... There we go, let's call her over. There we go, what are you doing? Do you, okay, you're waiting for Pear. Um, let's try about waking up. Okay, so Clara has f fully rested, so we are going to go and use the toilet. We are then going to take a brisk shower and then we are going to brush our teeth um, then we'll change into our everyday um, but I'm hoping that she'll change into her everyday once she gets out the shower and then we will go and serve actually no we'll just go on to cook and we will have some we'll have BLT and we'll um, do a family size. And now this dog is drinking out of the toilet. <laughs> so she is now making the BLT. Um, and then if we have time afterwards, um, then we will go and we will then go and make um, Meryl some... I can't remember what it's called now. We will do her a dog bone meat pie. Okay, so she's full of serving the plate upstairs. <laughs> and she's just reached cooking level 6. Um, she has learned the recipe for blue confetti cake and chilli. She has also learned some new, um, well, some cool new trick moves. So we are going to uh, let's try and bring this back downstairs. There we go. Um, and let's just pull it on here. I don't understand why she just can't serve it there. Maybe we will have to just get rid of just a couple of things just to make some room. Like, just get rid of that. There we go. Um, and then... Okay, is she already finished there? Oh, wait, no. Go and finish eating. Is it because she's full? Why can't you just eat downstairs? <laughs> It would be so much easier if you just sat downstairs. Now what are you doing? Go and clean up. I never expected her to be like a messy person. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we are going to go downstairs, we are going to put away the leftovers, and then we are going to cook a home style pet recipe, and we are going to do Meryl a dog bone meat pie. So hopefully that doesn't take too long. <laughs> okay, so she's just done the dog bone. And is she now giving it to her? Yes, yeah, she is. And pet obsessions. Like almost all pets, Meryl can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests. And she has reached cooking at level 7. Okay, so it looks like Meryl is enjoying that. So let's go and fill that bowl. And I just want to quickly make sure that I did set this lot as like a dog hangout. Um, yes, okay. Um, so where are they at? <laughs> I personally have not... I mean, she's the only stray we've seen so far um, around here, so... Oh, wait. We have Taz. Okay. <laughs> Aw. Um, okay. So, we are going to, of course, do the friendliest introduction. I mean, I was literally just saying where the stray dogs are, and they seem to be appearing now. <laughs> okay, please. Oh, the dog's asleep. <laughs> oh, well, okay, so there's another dog. We have... Who do we have here? We have Sansa. Sansa, is that how you say that? Um, let's do the friendliest introduction. Please. <laughs> are you going to do it? Or are they both... going to sleep? Where the hell did the other dog go? <laughs> why isn't this working? <laughs> go and wake up Taz. 
Oh yeah, it's oh, it's my bad. I completely forgot that these doors are unlocked. Um, lo are locked. So let's unlock them, and let's go and wake up Taz. <laughs> There we go. Ah, I'm sorry to wake you up, but let's do the friendliest, um, friendliest introduction. <laughs> so Taz just became friends. Um, um, sorry, Clara just became friends with Taz. That went up quite quickly. Um, let's adopt. Um, are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes. Um. Okay, so Taz. <laughs> oh. Okay, so even though she is a stray, Taz will be our dog, whereas the others um, will be like strays that we just take in and help, and then of course we take care of them um, or train them, and then when we think, well, when we think they are ready to be put up for adoption, that's kind of what we will do with them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so um, let's pet, let's hug, let's um, um, let's get to know, of course. Ah, <laughs> oh, Meryl. So I, 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 I really want to know what the genders are. So I, I wish it would tell you. Um, Okay, so yeah, of course, Meryl is a female, and okay, so Taz is a male. So Taz is a sleuth dog. They like to search around the house and can be instructed to invis investigate things. Okay, cool. Um, so interesting, the two dogs that we have, like they have completely two, well, completely um, different personalities, and I, I definitely can't wait to find out more about them. Um, and I'm also considering, because I did say about this house not being big enough in my opinion even though I do like it and of course I wouldn't have chose it for this LP if I didn't think it was the right house to go with um, but I'm considering either over here or maybe we'll make a basement and we will um, kind of make like just a room where all the dogs can go in like uh, we can put all the beds um, because like in the house because I mean even though I do I love the house um, this the rooms aren't that big and when you're trying to like lecture a dog about something you have to move downstairs or something to like a bigger area or a bigger room to be able to do that interaction so maybe it would be best if we just had them all like in like a little kind of shelter here so maybe we'll actually do that um... <laughs> Looks like Justin is here again. <laughs> um, so, okay, yeah, we're not actually going to interact with him. Let's go and talk to um, Taz. 
Um, give big treats. Um, ask to go potty. And okay. Oh well. So Meryl has found a present. So let's go and open that after that. <laughs> So adorable. I do like golden retrievers. I mean, they're not my like number one dog breed, but they're like probably my top three or five. <laughs> I mean, I would say for my number one, it would be a Springer Spaniel, and then a my second would be a Husky. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not a big fan of small dogs. My type of dogs are. Medium or large. <laughs> okay, and then I want... Oh, okay. Give big treats. Okay, so we're going to go and open up this present that Meryl has found. One broken fossil. Okay, cool. Um, so what do we have here? Oh, yeah, it's the painting. It's um, the experimental food um, that we learnt. <laughs> And, okay, so broken fossil, so I don't think we can actually really do anything with this. Um, so, let's just... Seeing if there's anywhere... Oh, okay, we can just put it there, can't we? There we go. Um, okay, no, what are you doing? Lecture about drinking from Pudor. Okay, why can't we do that? Um, lecture about... Go here then. God, why are these sims not working properly? Okay, let's call over. There we go. Um, can we not lecture about drinking from puddle? There we go. Um, and then lecture about barking. Um, lecture about barking. <laughs> well, Meryl does not like being told off. <laughs> um, let's just quickly see. So, a dog to call my own from adopting a dog. Adopting a dog is always a cause for celebration, but especially for a lover of dogs like Clara. Um, and then, of course, um, I already read that. <laughs> Why are you here? Um, okay, let's just go and heartfelt compliment him. Then let's go and brighten his day. Um, then let's go and boost about family. So she has reached charisma level 2. And um, stop talking with him. I just want to quickly check if I installed this mod where there are more um, part-time jobs. Um, well, it adds more part-time jobs to the game. Uh, I just I can't remember if I actually installed it or not. Um... No, I did not. Okay. I'm going to have to quickly check that because there may be something in there that I'd like Clara to do as like a part-time job because I don't really want her doing a full-time job. Um, I think the only way that she's only going to be really earning money is um, from doing a painting. So maybe we should actually start that because we actually have not started that yet. And I just want to quickly place a plumb bob light so she will feel... Um, I can't remember what the mood is called now. Let me just quickly find it. Um, inspiring. There we go. So let's just make this a bit smaller. And let's just place that there. And we will place that there. Okay, there we go. We should probably actually make this one a bit smaller as well. There we go. And let's enable emotional aura. Um, what's she doing? Okay, see what's happening. Go and do a medium classic painting. Um, and what's this? Um, splash. From being splashed, um, splashed by the dog. Gross. <laughs> um, so she's acquired the painting skill. Um, uh, so, so, um, Taz is actually a gluten pet. Um, gluten's like to eat a lot very messily. <laughs> so let's just fast okay so she's reached um level two level three okay so she's already done okay that's a cool picture how much is that okay only 76 simoleons really <laughs> um let's go and do a small pop-up painting 
Um, and did I put? Okay, put um, put that on four. There we go. So I can't. I don't realise that I turned it off. <laughs> okay, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh god, a llama. Okay, so she's reached painting level four. Um, let's go and sell that to a collector. There we go. Um, let's go and fill all pet bowls. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to do these ones. Okay, there we go. So she actually did them all. Well, she, yeah, she's doing them all for a change. <laughs> so let's talk to. And then we will call um, Taz to eat. And we will, of course, call Meryl. And then I think after that we will then go and quickly visit our dad and just check on, well, check up on him and see if he's doing alright. Um, let's go here. There we go. Um, so let's just quickly um, call him up just to see if we can actually go over. Um, okay, so yeah, um, he just... He just said that she can come over. So let's just wait for these dogs to um, finish eating. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, I don't need to do another painting just yet. Okay, there we go. So we are now going to quickly go and visit our dad. Um, head over to his house, the Jenkins family. Um, do we bring our dogs? Um... Yes, maybe we will, just to show him our, um, well, the dogs that we've took in, um, we've adopted one, we've got one stray that we're looking after, um, hopefully they will, hopefully they might actually cheer him up a bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, let's go and knock on door. Okay, uh, come on in. <laughs> so where is he? I hear him crying. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, wait, is he upstairs? Oh, he's he's crying it out. <laughs> oh, I want to go up to him. Okay, here we here he is. Let's discuss sad mood. Oh, he's, he's so happy to see her. Mm. Um, let's... Let's infuse about dogs. <laughs> let's try and brighten his day. Um, let's try to cheer him up. His moods just keep changing. It's. I just, I just want to give him a big hug. If any of you guys who are watching who suffer with mental health, I just want to let you know that it will get better. Um, please don't give up. You matter. You deserve to live a life. I mean, I've been in that place where I felt hopeless, worthless, couldn't see a future for myself, and I nearly ended my life um, last year, this was, but I'm slowly improving, and I actually haven't been depressed since last year, so um, I, for me, I think you have to reach your lowest point for things to start improving, um, and I just want to share as much of it as I can to you guys, because... I mean, of course, I want to raise more awareness of it because it's something that definitely needs a lot of awareness for. Well, a lot of awareness because um, it's it still lacks in the world, unfortunately. Um, but I also just want to try and help people. Um, you know, I, I can't I can't stand um, seeing people suffering, um, and I, I just hope that I I mean I've actually already helped. Um, I mean I've helped many people already. But um, I was actually, last year, I was actually, um, I've just said actually so many times already. Um, I was able to help a girl stop self-harming. 
Um, she had been self-harming for such a long time, um, but then we met, we talked, um, and then she said, because of me, she hasn't self-harmed in about six months. And this was, she sent me this last June when I was at my lowest point, and I also was able to help a couple of people seek help for their mental health. So I'm just, you know, I'm just, I just want to help people as much as I can. And that's kind of why I'm wear, raising awareness of it in this Let's Play. Um, so, yeah. Um, we are going to... Okay, is he going to interact with these dogs? I mean, he seems to actually be feeling a bit better now. Um, I'm glad that we've cheered him up. But, I mean, it doesn't... I mean, this mood, it will just quickly change like that. Um, no, why the hell are you going on his computer? Um, let's ask about his day, see what he's actually done. Has he been to work today? Has he took the day off or...? Okay, so he's actually feeling happy at the moment. But if you guys suffer with um, depression or, I mean, any kind of mental health problems, then you will know that even though he's currently feeling happy, it won't be long until that mood changes. Um, so let's have a deep conversation with him. There we go. Okay, so he seems to be doing alright. Um, so we are now going to head back home. Um, and he's proud of us um, for taking in the sh well a stray and of course getting our own dog and all that to try and take care of them um, but I mean I just can't wait until we get a lot more like it would be like a dog farm <laughs> maybe we will actually try for puppies as well but I haven't really decided on that just yet I mean it would be great to have puppies seeing as this is a cats and dogs let's play um, but I guess we'll see you later on um, in the series. Um, so let's ask to go potty. Okay, what the hell happened then? <laughs> let's um, teleport to... There we go. I don't understand what that was. A script error has been logged. I'll have to check that out after. I'm not sure why or literally what happened then. So lecture about indoor potty. Um, let's um, ask to to go potty. Um, calm down, Meryl. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. That's sweet. Um, pet care. Let's ask to go potty, and then we will ask Taz um, to go... Oh god, she's going to sleep. <laughs> Away. So, Meryl has learned to pee outside. Yes, so we've trained her to do one thing. <laughs> um, lecture about drinking from Puddle. There we go. Um, let's hug, and then we will... Um, Asco potty. Um, I'm actually going to add some lights outside because it is quite dark out here. Um, I guess we will. Yeah, we'll go with these ones. Just to brighten this place up a little bit. Okay, did not mean to do that. Okay, did not I press the wrong button again? <laughs> there we go. Trying to brighten this place up as much as I can. Wait, is there? Okay, no. And then I guess we could probably add like a wall light, um, just overhanging the bath. Um, okay, is, no, is that the, no, it's not the war. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm not sure which light to go for. Oh wait, this one? Yes. And we will go with... We'll go with that colour. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Finally some brightness. And then as to go putty. So Taz has learned to pee outside. Yes. So let's go and throw away this poo. Um, is uh, Do we have a bin outside? Yes. Okay. Um, but I want to get just one of these just in case. Because, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer if this could be the, the poo bin. <laughs> and we will place that there. There we go. Okay. So she placed it in there. But it does not matter. Oh, God. No. Stop it. <laughs> um, let, of course, go and calm down, Meryl. There we go. Um, so, we are going to uh, give a bath to Meryl. Then we will give a bath to Taz. And I'm actually going to, I mean, see if it's possible to, to um, everyone but household members, um, everyone but household members, allow ex uh, allow access to lock door for. Actually, no, we'll just unlock. Um, it doesn't really matter now. <laughs> I was going to try and make it so I could like the only Taz and Meryl can go through that door. Um, and of course Meryl can't because she will be over here um, but why does baffing a dog take so long I'm just gonna have to speed this up I'm so glad I have the super speed mod so I can actually fast forward it okay here we go let's get a photo <laughs> it's so adorable okay <laughs> So we are going to get um, Meryl to eat, then we are going, actually we could actually, why do I keep saying actually so many times? Um, let's get this thing, um, we'll actually only have one um, bowl in the house, um, I'll probably find some more later on though, um, but let's change this to white and that can be like that, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, let's go and fill that up. I mean, we should probably put them in here. I mean, that would probably be a good idea, um, a good idea too. So, we don't have to always go in here to fill them up. Okay, um, let's just move these bowls over here a moment. There we go. And just do it like that. Now we'll put the bowls here. <laughs> there we go. And let's change this all to black. And then the bowls will have white. We'll have Okay, we won't have black. Don't want too much black. Um, yellow, green, and red. There we go. And the schedule time we will set for every three hours. And let's do the one over here. There we go. And let's just go and fill. Um, go and fill that as well. Fill, fill. Um, then we will go and fill that. And then, okay, that's already been filled. We actually need to try and keep up with her. Um, okay, that was fast. Um, so we are going to, of course... Okay, okay, Meryl is asleep. Great. <laughs> so we are going to lock this door for everyone but Clara. Um, and we are now going to go into the house. We are going to clean that up. Then we are going to go upstairs. We are going to use the toilet. We are going to take a shower brush teeth and then we are going to go to sleep or actually no we should probably get Taz inside oh wait did I really put these two that close 
Um, let's just move that over here and move that there. There we go. Okay, come on, girl. You can make it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, what are you barking at? Oh, she's okay. So, um, um, his fear. I keep, I get, I keep getting them mixed up. Um, so his fear, or one of his fears, is the shower. <laughs> oh, it's. I don't like seeing dogs like like that, <laughs> like reacting like that. It's it's not nice to see. Okay. So we are going to, of course, quickly change the colour of this to, um, I guess we'll go with that. We are then going to ask Taz to lie down, there we go, and we are now going to go to sleep. And we are also going to lock this door for everyone but Clara. <laughs> But anyway guys, I'm actually going to end this part here, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Please do give it a big fat thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment, and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye guys!